Um, he's not working the time. Um, okay. Yeah. And is he a student? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, until I saw that there, I thought, oh, wait a minute, that's you. And it, the person that I talked to there said that this is a guy that took the alcohol. He didn't yeah. allege that he did. Yeah. But I can't. Yeah, I'm a law student, so. Sure. So what What did, that night, what did he, did he say, let's go to Walmart, or how did yeah, that basically, uh, transpire? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's like, let's go to Walmart. Okay. And did Usually, he say at that point what he was going to do? or No. Okay. What, when was it that you knew that he was going to take the alcohol? Uh, when I was walking with him, basically, okay. yeah. Did you try to tell him, hey, it's not a good idea? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, like I said, I'm a, like, I'm a major in, double major in criminal justice and psychology, you know? So, mm -hmm. like, I'd like to be a detective when I grow up and stuff like sure. that. So, getting to Walmart and hearing that news is kind of like, uh, Sure. So when he got in and started taking it, then what happened? What did he do after that point? Walked out. Okay. Did he get in the rig or did he walk or what did, what did he do when he walked out? I think, yeah, I think he just walked up, walked back to the car. Okay. How's it going? Good. You're gonna need to get out. I'll get out of your. Are you I'll get out of your way. Just a sec. Okay. Just one more second, Kobe. I gotta grab something. Do you remember what day it was at all? It's been a couple been a weeks. Couple weeks yeah. Okay. So were you guys initially at your apartment then, and he said, "Let's go to Walmart." Yeah, actually, it was my idea to go to Walmart. Um, okay. Did you? I, need I was looking for. I, I wear contacts. Yeah. Okay. Really sensitive eyes. So, okay. Uh, I only had saline solution left for my eyes. Okay. But I tried to go in and get the stuff that I usually had, but they are out. Okay. Yeah. And. So there was no mention prior to that about him wanting to no, take. No, it was literally like we got in the store and then like we were just walking around. I was looking for that contact solution, couldn't okay. find it, and then. And then what did he say, or did he just? He's just like he just started walking and I was following him. Okay. What's his first name? Uh, or Chip Charles. Charles. So he walked to the alcohol aisle, yeah. liquor, and then what did he do at that point? Okay. Do you have any idea how many he put in? Three, two, three, something like that. Two to three. Okay. And then what did he do? I think we walked to like the corner of the store or something. 
Okay, I can't remember. I think oh. we just like walked to the far corner of the store or something like that. Okay. Like the garden section. And then like, he put him in his jacket and walked out. Did he make any attempt to pay? Um, like, did he go to the cash register? No. And then you guys got in the rig and took off? Yeah. Well, I was, I, I got back to the car first, and then he walked back. Okay. Yeah. When he went to the alcohol. I can't remember. Pretty sure he went to the alcohol and I walked back to the car. While he was in the alcohol? Yeah. Okay. Charles. So that he... was a long time ago, though. Like, uh, okay. The details are... Okay. <laughs> okay. So when he was in the alcohol section, that's when you went back to the vehicle. That's, yeah. And then he came out a short while later. Yeah. Like as soon as I like got to the car, I saw him walking back. To, to the vehicle. To the road, yeah. Okay. Did he say anything? No, it was mostly silent car ride back. I do remember that part though. That's kind of weird to me out a little bit. Yeah, I just my life. Oh, that's all right. And he had the alcohol in his coat. Yeah. Did he say anything about stealing it? A little bit after, like when we got back here. But, the but I assumed though, because he had uh, bottles of alcohol in his jacket. <laughs> okay. He paid for it. He had the bag. But he, the whole. Let me just go back for a second. The ride back, he didn't say anything. Yeah, it was mostly silent car ride back. He didn't mention. He didn't mention anything about stealing it. Not exactly, but like. It was more in the store, like, when he started walking over there, and he was, like, pulling stuff down off the shelves. So it was, like, 20, so I just walked. Okay. Um, and then when he got back here, what did he say? Oh, uh, pretty sure we just walked inside and started drinking. Pretty sure. <laughs> okay. He did, or yeah, both, both of us? Multiple people. Okay. There were people over that day. So, okay. Did you tell him, say anything at all, like, hey, this is a dumb idea while you're in the store, when he's grabbing um, stuff? No. Okay. You said you were just hunt or shooting? Yeah, we were just shooting. Are there guns shooting. in the house? Yeah, there are a couple. Okay. They're licensed to his family. Uh, I'm not worried about that oh, part. Okay. I just, when there's weapons in the residence, Probably if I go talk to somebody, yeah. yeah exactly. I think uh, Dyer is cleaning them right now, so. Who is? Dyer, Michael Dyer. Oh, okay. That's yeah. a different person. Yeah. Was it just the two of you guys? That went that day? Yeah. So in the vehicle? I have no idea. I think, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was actually. Okay. Does Charles work too? Yeah. Okay. But he could be home right now, I mean? Potentially. I don't see. Does he have his own vehicle? No. That's the car that they share, but it's like. Can we go see if he's home so I can talk to him? Is it back this way? Oh, uh, yeah, it's up this way. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being honest, Kobe. In the future, Start off. if you're my kid, I would say, tell your friend, I don't want anything to do with this. Yeah, Can we still get for you? yeah if you don't mind.
Charles. Hello. How's it going? Going okay. Got any weapons on you? No. Okay. You know why I'm here? Yeah. You're not under arrest right now, but I just want to talk to you. Uh, I've got uh, pictures and stuff from Walmart. Uh, what happened? I was running really low on cash and was having trouble making rent, so I started taking bottles and selling them. Taking bottles of alcohol from them? Okay. Yeah. So approximately a couple of weeks ago, um, did you go with Toby to uh, Walmart? And he didn't know any of this. He just thought he was giving me rides. Okay. So you never told him that? No. Okay. Because I would always be out and back before he even got back to the car, so we never saw any of it. He, he, did he go out to the rig first? Hmm? Did he go out to the rig first? Uh, I just made it back before he did because he was actually shopping. Oh, it was, what was he shopping for? Well, different times. I, I usually just hitch a ride every time he's going for, like, groceries for, like, I don't know, like, chips or something. Okay. How many bottles did you take? I know uh, you've done it more than once because the um, Walmart employees told me. You know they have cameras there, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, do, you have, do you have any idea how many times you've done it? I'm looking at uh, one specific went, time. Like, I don't know, like three times. It wasn't that many. Okay. Um, the last one, the one I'm looking at, it looks like you took about four or five bottles of hard liquor. Yeah, that'd be about right. Okay. I can't tell you specifically from the video and the, the stills, but that's what it looks like. So, why? It was just like I hadn't really gotten my job yet, or like I just barely got my job, but I wasn't like, getting hours, and I was like already behind a little bit on rent. Like I'd borrow money from like my friends mm -hmm. so I could make rent on time, but I like so them some money. Mm -hmm. So like I stopped doing it because like now I have a job, and like they confronted me, so I stopped and like haven't done it since. Mm -hmm. But I was just behind on rent. Having trouble being like a poor college kid. So the time I'm looking at it was October 25th, prior to Halloween, about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, so you went with Kobe there in his rig, mm -hmm. and did you guys split up when you got in the store? Yeah, we all used to shop together. Okay. And then what'd you do? I went and I grabbed the balls and then went to a different part of the store and pocketed them. And it was four to five. Yeah. Hard liquor, all of them? Yeah. You're only 20, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what did you do? Where'd you put them? Uh, I came back here. No, I mean when you were in the store, where'd you put them when you went to a different part of the store? Uh, I carried them around in a shopping bag or hand cart, hand basket. Okay. Not, that, not a cart? No, just a hand thing. And then how did you conceal them? What's it called? Uh, I had a uh, one of those sports like Under Armour bags in my jacket, and I just put them in there. Okay. Under Armour bags. Yeah. Just what kind of jacket car. were you wearing? A car. Uh, brown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got pictures of it. And then you walked out. Yeah. Did you make any attempt to pay? And did you tell him at all about it? I didn't tell any of my roommates. I didn't want them knowing that I was doing this. Okay. So he didn't know the whole time while yeah. he was with you? No, he just thought he was giving me rides. Okay. Okay. Well, at this point, you're under arrest for theft. You've been cooperative, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write you a criminal ticket. I'm not taking you down to jail. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make you sit in a holding cell or anything right. like that. But... Uh, I'm also advised you've got the right to counsel, which is an attorney. I don't plan on asking you anymore. And you're also being audio and video recorded. Okay. Tell tell everybody that. Let's just go down to my car down there and we'll get this done with. In, in the future, man. I'm sure. What's your major? Okay. You know, I'm sure your parents will tell you the same. Just don't do this. Five one. I've got one in custody for a previous theft. I believe it's the case number I gave you to attach the vehicle to. All right, let me pat you down quick. Like I said, I'm not taking you anywhere because you've been cooperative with me. Just a second. Let me get my gloves on here, Charles. What's your last name? 
subject. Do you have any ID with you on your person? If not, I'll just have no. to... Okay, I'll just get your info here in a minute. Okay, go ahead and put your hands on your head. Is that just... I get my phone. Phone? Okay. 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 Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. For the time being, what I'm going to do is cuff you, put you in the back seat while I write the ticket. All right. And you get them taken off when we're done. And like I said, you're under arrest for theft. And let me make sure those don't tighten on you. It's because of the cameras that we were able to figure out the vehicle and also photos of you. Okay, let me go over there and unlock it. I can't get it from this side. I'll let you have a seat while I finish the ticket. Do you have any questions at all, Charles? Okay. I think I'm gonna actually pull in the parking lot over there. I got more light while we're and I'll just kick you loose after we're done. Watch your head as you get in there. Try to sit at an angle so you're not you're a bigger guy. Um, so you're not putting the pressure on your you alright? Yeah, it's fine. You sure? I've worn cuffs before. Okay. All right, I'm just going to back up into the parking lot across the street. Got more light that way. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll turn around first. I don't like this. Yeah. Now, I don't think you're a bad kid. I just think you made a bad decision, man. Hold on, 451. 451. I've got the arrestee in my vehicle. I'm going to be moving across the street to uh, write the ticket, and I'm going to kick him loose. Damn it. 1713. Negative, I'm code for her. He's in cuffs in the back of my patrol car.
What's your last name? S U D. Okay. That's Charles. What's your middle initial? D. And your date of birth? March 26, 1993. Okay. And your license is through Washington? Yes. Okay. Okay. Five one. I've got one through Washington. Go ahead. Last, Sam Union David, Boy Edward Charles King, First Charles, Middle D David, 032693. What's the last four numbers on your social security? And what's the address on your ID driver's license? 2173. Uh-huh. North 3rd Street. Okay. Washington. Okay. I know that area. I grew up in Vancouver. 5-1. Can I get last four association address on the license? Also physical. Physicals six five two seventy in blue. Copy. You don't know your full driver's license number, do you? No. Okay. Five one. Can I get the pick and the expiration on the sud sud bag? The pick is zero seven five David six expiration three twenty six seventeen. Copy. Thank you. What's your full middle name, Charles? Duncan. Okay, thank you. So this is a twelve thirty five Liebacker? Yes, apartment okay. A. Okay, thanks. Six five two seventy. That still sound about right? Yeah. Okay. My height's not much different. My height's not different. But my weight might be somewhere there. Yeah, that's all right. What's your cell phone number? Uh, three six zero. Uh huh. Nine four nine. Uh huh. Eighty four seventy seven. Okay.
Almost done, Charles. Take your time getting out. Okay. We'll go over. Go ahead and scoot you up. We'll go over here in front of the car. I'll explain the ticket to you. And I'll take your cuffs off. This is a criminal ticket. It's non-traffic. You weren't driving. All your information, the date, time that it happened, location, which is Walmart. That's crossed out because you weren't driving. I've got two... Uh, crimes, theft for stealing it. Also, MIP, since you're only 20, you're not supposed to be in possession of it. It's a mandatory court appearance. What's going to happen is the court, within two weeks, should send you a court date by mail to this address. Two weeks elapse, you don't hear anything. Call the court. It'll be on your copy down at the bottom. And say, hey, I haven't received anything yet. I'm supposed to have a court date. What's up? So be sure and watch the mail for the next two weeks. Okay? And I'll give you a copy as well. I'm going to take the cuffs off. You'll be free to go at that point, no longer under arrest. Okay. Okay. And I'm guessing they probably don't want you back in the store, but I can't say 100%. Because okay. I'm not a representative of the store. Any questions at all? Nope. Okay. I appreciate you separate your hands for me. Being cooperative and honest, because it would have actually gone down to the station if you played games and fingerprinted photographs and sat down there.